Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. On this recording, I'm going to show you how to make a few quid on the tennis bets. What you want is an, um, a game that's already in play like this one. ATP Challenger Tour of uh, Valina or Valina. Nicholas Moreno de Albaran versus Jerome Kim. You want them to be the same. You want it to be even money or close to even money on both, but both um, of the players to win. Uh, it was it pretty much that, um, but then it's gone to one to six. So basically, the better seeded player is Nicholas. So I would be betting on that, but I want the the odds to be better than one to eight on. I put eight pound on, I get one pound back. Let's put that in terms of profit. So you want it to be better odds than that. It was as I was starting to record. They've had a few. They've had a few uh, players already, so it's it's dipped one to ten. It's shortening up every time. So you're looking for a game where it's even, and then it's close to even money. Um, and you look for the the better. See, this is better. Here we go. Chris Rudesk uh, Fabrizio. So let me have a quick look. So I'm looking at the um, flash scores. You can't see that, but I am looking at that on screen at the minute. I'm looking for that match. I want to see who the favourite is or the better seeded player. So Chris is the better seeded player. Uh, so Chris will be the bet four to eleven, which is reflected in the price there. Four to nine. Right, that's my bet. I'm having a 49 bet. You can't see how much I'm putting on. I'm putting nine pounds ninety-five pence on that to get fourteen thirty-seven back. So you'll see it in a minute. Basically, I've bet on this match. Chris Rodesh Rodesh to win. That is my bet, basically. This fella to win here. He's the better CD player of the two. And um, I've just put. Let me have a look at some bets. That is the bet. So I'm just showing you what I would do here. So if he wins, if he gets six, let's say six three, he's going to win, and that's going to be my money. So I'm going to get fourteen thirty seven back for my nine pound ninety five stake. So and I shall take that all day long. Thank you very much. Um, this is me trying to demonstrate how I pick my in play sports bet. Um. So I'm in profit if I do a cash out now. I've made um about twenty four pence, something like that. So nineteen pence profit in the minute. I'm gonna make four pounds forty two if I win. Here we go, match point. This could be it. If Chris gets this point, I've won the game. And I've won my bet. As long as Chris gets the win. It's uh, suspending my cash out. Fault for Fabrizio. Good news, because that's going to put him under pressure. More pressure. So this could be the win. This could be the win. With a bit of luck. Go. It's suspended. This looks like it's going to win. I think it was a win when it does that. So suspended there.
double fault. And I think that's it, isn't it? Set three, game 12, break point. Set three won by Chris. So there we go. Chris Rodesh, Rodesh wins. And that's my, that's my bet one. And that's how I do the tennis uh, bets, basically. I wait for a one one game old, look at half odds to even money, and then place my bet on the better seeded player. So that's going to remove that out of the betting slip as as bet settled. And then I'll I'll find another game another game. I'm just going to load up another game. I'm going to wait for it to move out of that window to say my bets sorted, bet settled. I'll try another game, find another game to play. Okay, now it's gone out of my bet slip. Back to tennis in play. And we'll look for another uh, equals like this. Seven, seven to one, one to 16, too short. Not close enough, but the one all, you see. You want it to be one all, like, like this. That's good. So I need to find that match. Ollie and Michael. Uh, there we go. I found it. So I'm going to go with the better CD player, which is. Um... Oh, actually, that's some. That's a different match. ITF Slim Single. Let's go for that. No, that is that one. That's that one. So we're going to do with this this guy here. Four to six. So I'm going to put a £5 bet on that to get £3. That'll do for me. £3.33 win. There we go. So, my bets. This is it. This is the match. This is the guy that I want to win. And £5 to win £3.33. So, yeah. So this is what I do, basically. So what I did was, I've got, um, I look at the in-play tennis bets, look for one set each, and look for a roughly even money, or half odds to even money, four to six, just over half odds. Um, and um, I look to bet on the better seeded player to win. So, from this guy here, four to six shot. So, I'll, I'll bring you back once this is uh, one, I suppose. And I'll try and find one more game. Oh, it's fault. It's a fault. Oh, this could be bad. See, that, that eight pounds and a pen is looking favourable now. This is, this is what you want to be getting away from, this kind of setup. Suspended, here we go. So this is going to be a win, I think. This is match point win. So when we're in this position, it says suspended. That's usually good. There you go, boom, done. Set three, game ten, one. One by Michael. There we go, there's my win. That was my bet. I've made another £3.33. Sports betting, in play tennis. Love this setup. So, we'll just wait for this to go out my betting slip. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, it's gone out my betting slip. Close that up. Go back to the in-play sports betting markets. Look at the tennis. And then look for another even matched. Nine, one to nine on's too stingy. Uh, if I can't find any, then it doesn't matter. Two to seven, it's too, sh too slim. That's more like it, this one here. But it's kind of early in the game. So lock, it's a doubles match. Lock versus 
new crashed on the board. So I need to look at the statistics. Usually I like to do the singles, so I'm not going to do that one. If it's a singles, I'd do it. I don't want to do the doubles. Stick to the singles, it's easier. Um, yeah, there's nothing available for me to do, so let's switch to darts. Let's have a quick look at the darts. See what the scores are. Oh, wow. Richie, one to three on. And what? It's too small. It's too. That's too. Sh That's too short a price. Even for me. And I like the short price frames. <laughs> football. Let's look at some football bets then. Um, let's have a look at some football bets. So I want to look at a five minutes in or ten minutes. Uh, I've been a bit too late for these. Five or ten minutes in, I'm looking for. In fact, look at this. Sixteen minutes. I'm looking at the statistics. I want to see how many shots on target they've had. They've not had any, or shots off target as well. None. None on both. So that's not good for me. <clears throat> Let's try and find a match that's got about 10 minutes play. And let's look at this Norwegian. 18 minutes in on this one. Dangerous attack. Okay. One shot off target. None sh no one. So this might be a one goal to be scored in half time setup. I'd rather it be two shots. Or one shot or two shots here that's what I prefer to have but let me have a list 19 minutes 62 22 minutes um there yeah, eSports we don't do the eSports let's go back to the top uh, so what's that? I've got a 19 minute player there one nil though. Twenty two minutes twenty one minutes Spanish. Let's have a quick look at this. Let's just see. They've had one and they've had a goal. Both sides have had a goal there, which is good. That's a positive for me, but I would have wanted the the other option as well. I'm trying to think. I've just been there. I think I've just been there. I've been on that one. Right, how about. No, they've already scored. 22 minutes, they've already scored. 22 minutes, they are Bayern Munich winning. Let's see what they are up to. One, here we go, this is it. One shot on target, one shot off, one shot off. This is one. This is a bet. So, half time, or oh, I might not get the option. It's not giving me the option. It's not giving me the option, which is annoying. Right, okay then. Twenty minutes in. Here we go. One, two. Here we go. This is one. This is one. So it's not letting me do it, is it? Is it? First half. Over first half under over over a goal five quid boom another three pounds sixty four if this hits so any team to score just one goal that's the bet in the first half the bet is placed successfully so my bets click on that so we just want this team to score any of the teams to score just one goal that's it and I'll get three pounds sixty three profit so yeah dangerous attack let's see if it lands so my trigger for placing a bet is this these values here two one one here so you want to be shots on targets and you want to have shots off target 
But usually I do it on 10 minutes in. If it's done it in 10 minutes in, that's when I do it. This is 22 minutes in. So we'll just leave this running, see if I can get my win. So this is sports betting. This is how I do my sports. I'll bring you back if I get a win. Okay, that's my goal. That's my win. So I've made another three pounds sixty-three. Uh, that'll do for me. I've done two bets: the tennis, and I've done a bet on the the football. All in play. With the tennis, you're looking for uh, two sets all, obviously one set all, and you want the odds to be half odds or better, and you're looking at betting on the better seeded player. With the football, I like to look for shots on goal and shots off target. As long as they're getting the ping in the trying to get shots in on goal, whether they're off or they're on target but not actually a goal yet, and it's 10 minutes in, I like to do one goal to be scoring in half time by any team. And you've seen that happen there. So that is job done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, recording of how I play um, sports bets, you know, I, I can show you how to win on roulette, and how I play it. I can show you how I play online slots to win, and I can slow, show you how I bet on sports bets and win. This is what my channel is all about, showing you different ways of what I do and how I make profit when I gamble, how, how I limit losses. So I'm always looking at my cash outs, because um, if it's... A difficult game, I'm going to be looking to cash out if I'm doing a sports in play bet. Always looking to cash out if it's going to be difficult, um, if it's a difficult game. Uh, protect your investment, basically, um, best you can. Because there's going to be loads of different opportunities. So, yeah. Anyway, that is me done. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon.